join me for a tour of the top 10 strangest Hubble images. First up is what astronomers call the Egg Nebula. It is believed that a star is located at the centre and this is casting off shells of gas and dust while it slowly transforms itself into a white dwarf star. The dust is also causing a polarisation of the light creating what appears as four search beams. It is interesting that the source of the light looks more like two parallel beams and the fact that the central cloud is at right angles to this is also strange. It reminds me of looking down a tunnel filled with smoke that is lit up by a laser light. So are we looking down a stellar Birkeland current perhaps? This is an image of a young planetary nebula located about 8,000 light years away. If you look carefully at the image you will see that it has an hourglass shape. At the pinch point is where we see the eye. The colour in the image shows ionisation of nitrogen in red, hydrogen in green and double ionised oxygen in blue. Highly likely that this is showing a large pinch in a Birkeland current. Showing excitation as we move into the pinch. Now the question is whether this is recent or not. The active star seems a little offset to one side of the dark area. But this may be that there is a thicker layer of dust which is hiding what is happening at the centre. Next up is another planetary nebula, but this one is more complicated. The star is clearly visible at the centre, but there seems to be many shells sort of interlocking each other. It is as if we are looking directly down the hourglass shape, with the central object being the pinch, and the outer areas being the edges of the plasma in glow mode. In this image we see what looks like an almost perfect straight line. Now this is believed to be a galaxy which lies edge on to Earth. Most galaxies have a large bulge as you move to the centre, and most are not actually flat. Our own Milky Way is believed to curl up and down at the edges of the spiral arm. So that makes this galaxy rather unique in its flatness. Now continuing with the theme of odd linear objects, here is an image of a nebula located in the constellation of Taurus, which lies close to the central plane of our Milky Way. The sharp angle you see is thought to be a star forming region, but the reason for its shape and angle is unknown. Continuing with the theme of straight lines, here we have a star which is surrounded by what they call the red rectangle. This is similar to the first image where the star is at the centre which is thought to be ejecting gas and dust creating shells that move outwards. But again here, are we actually looking down the stellar Birkeland current? The question would be what can create these incredible straight lines and angles? Next up are a couple of herbic hero objects. These objects spew out materials in a very confined beam, almost like a laser. And this one is about 1400 light years away, near the Orion Nebula. Now in this image you will notice the bright point top right which has gas jets emanating from it, and also the bright gas cloud bottom left. The gas jets extend all the way from this bright point right to the gas cloud where a new star is actually forming. The jets may only be partially visible, but it is thought to extend all the way. Again, does this show that our stars are in fact connected through a network of filaments which join each other together, some triggering the formation of new stars and some absorbing the energy from older stars? Here is another example of a herbic Hera object, but in this case it is possible to see that both jets extending from the central object. And these jets do remind me very much of Eric Lerner's plasmoid model. And next is what astronomers consider the best image of a lens quasar. As you know, I don't believe that these images are actually lens gravitationally. What caught my eye in this image is the three-dimensional nature of the object. If you suspend the idea that these are actually lensed and instead think of this as an object, 
To me, it looks like a spherical object with bright spokes around it, and almost like some of the images you see of a Dyson sphere. Last up is one of the most spectacular images I have covered this year. The bubble you see is thought to be the remnant of a supernova explosion. The shell is slowly expanding, and what we can see is an object which has been ejected from this explosion, which is travelling at an almost unbelievable speed of 2.5 million miles per hour. The tail you see is about 13 light years long. Scientists speculate that this object is a pulsar which has been ejected. The question would be how could a pulsar create a tail that is over 13 light years long that still remains visible? Also, why is there no jet in front of the pulsar, as pulsars create two jets? It reminds me more of a Herbig Harrow object. And again, remember that the idea that this is travelling at 2.5 million miles per hour is based on the analysis of the redshift of this object. And again, we might look at this in a very different light if the assumption that redshift can be caused by other phenomena such as the plasma that surrounds it. As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time.